Giuseppe Conti, this individual that's been put forward by the Five Star Lega Coalition. He's not well known. A lot of Italians waking up this morning probably asking, who is he? Just to give you a bit of a background, he's in his mid-50s. He's a law professor with a practice here in Rome, but also teaches in Florence. He's from Puglia in the southeast, and he was, remember, part of this sort of shadow cabinet that Luigi Di Maio unveiled before the March 4th election. He was going to be in charge of reducing bureaucracy across government. Critics saying that he will potentially just be a spokesperson for these two parties, will not have a huge amount of internal power if he's appointed to the post. And worth caveating, there's no guarantee of that still. We're still waiting to hear from Sergio Mattarella on that issue. Uh, Matteo Salvini, the head of Liga, sat down with uh, Mattarella last night. He came out swinging after that meeting at critics from around Europe in particular who've been slightly questioning of some of these policies put forward. Take a listen. Siamo pronti. We are ready. We have given our name. We have made clear the team and the project for the country. We want to start so we can begin to grow this country's economy. We read with interest and sometimes with surprise the declarations made by ministers from other countries and commissioners who are worried. They have nothing to be worried about. The government of which we play a part wants to make Italy grow to increase jobs. We want to bring back companies to invest in Italy. We want jobs to become more stable. Salvini insisting again that this was all about putting Italians first. Meanwhile, Luigi Di Maio, also talking after meetings with Mattarella last night, said that the important thing to remember with Giuseppe Conte, although he was not well known, although he was a technocrat, was that he was essentially going to be head of a political series of political movements making political decisions surrounded by politicians. Take a listen. It will be a political government. It will be a government that puts at the centre political questions. Maybe I want to say also, at an international level, let us get to work first and then criticise us. You have every right to do so, but let us start first. But still, you know, a couple of very, very significant questions remaining. For Italians and Italian voters, will this man end up getting the job? Will he form a new government? Will Italy have an operational government for investors, for businesses, questions about whether this man, Conte, a government he chooses, whether they can actually turn these proposals we've heard over the last few weeks and months into reality and what that means for the Italian economy. Willem, I, I'm sorry, even by the debacle that is Italian politics, I don't think it's acceptable to say you can't criticise us in advance. We look at these two parties with disparate policies, policies which they only agree on stuff which basically is dismantling parts of the European project, parts of the European support network as well, parts of fiscal responsibility. And then you put a man in charge of these two lions who oppose each other on many, many policies, who has never, ever been in frontline politics, has never been elected. And you mentioned he's from Puglia, my understanding is from a very small village in Puglia as well. What on earth is going on? This is a joke by even Italian politics standards, isn't it? Steve, they're just begging you to give them a chance, aren't they? That's what we heard in the statements last night. I mean, you, you want to talk about uh, Conti's background. Obviously, he's from a small village in Puglia, but he's been living and working around the world. He's had stints at Yale, Sorbonne, Cambridge. He's obviously a very well-respected, well-connected and widely published lawyer. But in terms of politics, you're absolutely right. And one of the big challenges here, you know, leading up to the election, I remember people describing Luigi Di Maio to me as a lamb amongst wolves when it came to the Italian political arena. He's proving himself to be anything but that. He's been very smart in terms of keeping himself at the forefront of these negotiations. But in terms of Conti getting stuff done, ushering these laws potentially through the Italian parliament, where in fact this coalition has a relatively slim majority, that will be a major, major challenge and I would expect we'll be watching this very closely. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.